good morning everyone and welcome to my channel english literature today we are going to talk about thomas mallory's morty d arthur it is based on arthurian legend or romance so what is romance in the modern usage the romance means in love affair but in medieval context romance is more than that of course there is love affair the theme of love but all along all this there was the theme of chivalry the hero will go on some quest and journey take brave steps courageous steps and um, to ensure something to rescue someone and there will be chivalric connotation so that is related to medieval romance and mallory's morty d arthur is arthurian romance now The book is Morty D. Arthur, author Thomas Mallory, first published fourteen eighty five, genre it is novel, and local Britain plot Arthurian romance, time the golden age of chivalry. Now there is an excerpt from the Morty D. Arthur that will tell you about how the Middle English language was then. then said bidoar cried and said and i just uh, quote this except to uh, show you that how language was in that time how the word said said and you can find said cried these were medieval language coins now mallory's birth date is uncertain but believes that he was born between 1405 to 1410 or someone say that he 1415 actually he is this uh, thomas mallory is taken as the supposed author of morty d arthur even thomas mallory's identity is under conjecture that who is actually thomas mallory there are several thomas mallory Finally, Thomas Mallory, who born between fourteen hundred five to fourteen hundred ten, is given the authorship of Morty D. Arthur. Now, King Arthur was a legendary leader of Britain who fought against the Saxon. We have heard it in Anglo-Saxon time that Arthur was the leader of Britain who has to fought against Saxon. And there are several romances relating his Round Table and the Knights. The Geoffrey of Monmouth's history of Regan Britain. They are also based on. Arthur's legend, okay, and little Thomas Mallory collected, translated, and wrote down them in his book *La Morte de Arthur*, the death of Arthur. Arthur. So, what does this mean, *La Morte de Arthur*? It is the Latin. It means the death of Arthur. And what is the source? The source is Geoffrey of Monmouth's *Historia Regum Britanni*. So, first Arthurian legend. a remarkable or you can say was based on, was taken in form by geoffrey monmouth and later by thomas mallory thomas mallory is recognized as a towering figure of medieval english literature particularly prose literature his master work la morte de arthur is the best known treatment in english of the tales of the exploits and deeds of king arthur and the knights of the round table so what is the round table actually the round table is a table that was just like this and tom uh, king arthur get it in his marriage and they are the knights used to sit for their and with king arthur for their discussion and their next journey the beautiful picture but though he wrote about the legend of king arthur he was not a legendary hero but hard core criminal so thomas mallory who is writing about king arthur and such legendary hero he is writing about but he himself was not a legendary man or not at all a um, simple common honest people you can say him he was a hard core criminal he was a ruffian of the most extreme kind he was indicted for theft in 1453 and after that he was involved in several criminal affairs you will go, go through this and you will understand but the most thing is he has written the morty d arthur when he was in the prison he does nothing to past time there is no mobile phone no smartphone no tv so what can i do okay let's write in on legend 
so in the london's newgate prison where he find he has to stay there for a long time for so many criminal incidents crimes so many crimes he just uh, did so he fell okay so i can use my time in this way so there he started writing la morte di arthur london's newgate prison it is finished between march 14 Uh, 1869 and March 17, 1470. So between March 4, 1469 and March 3, 1470, in between this La Morte di Arthur was finished in prison during the reign of Edward the Fourth. So when you will read uh, Morte di Arthur, just make a heading, Morte di Arthur, and take notes. Just take notes, author, publication. place finishing date in this way you just go on taking note and uh, who was the ruler during this time ruler name of the ruler edward the fourth just whenever you read something just take a mind map or brief note so after you complete reading you read from my video i have give uh, i used to give all the notes i gathered from various sources when i just try to um, this something that i try to make some note i just consult various books in my stocks and i just take the information and make my note and whatever i get i totally copy in, in, in video so that you can get what i get i just copy and paste to offer you so when you will read you also come in contact with various sources you must use them while reading from my writing you must use the other sources also and take all the things together and just make a mental map just pinpoint those points highlight those points so from your brain thomas melody's morte di arthur will never be erased and finish it in one time revise later just finish thomas melody's morte di arthur from whatever source you have just point out them and when you finished it just take a look and close it for later revision thomas mallory will not speak now inside your head more in this way one after another it is complete but i think you can get more information but they will not be so much important because there are several information but i find they are not important they are not so related i just throw them out you can rely in these sources because they are taken from the most important or widely acclaimed literary encyclopedias okay long lecture now come to the point it was first printed in july 13 1985 uh, 1485 in the workshop of william caxton so these are the information you have to keep in mind mallory's date of birth will vary because totally mallory's uh, identity is under conjecture but he was born between 1405 to 1410 or 15 so that is not so important mallory's date of birth but other things is important you have to put them in your diary caxton's edition is divided into 21 books and 506 chapters 21 books and 506 chapters caxton was the only version caxton's was the only version known until uh, 1934 when w f Oakes thought discovered a manuscript of La Morte di Arthur in the Fellows Library of Winchester College. So, though Mallory wrote that Morte di Arthur, William Caxton actually printed that, and William Caxton's edition was available in 21 books and 506 chapters. Later, W. F. Oakes thought discovered a manuscript here in the Fellows Library of Winchester College. This book encompasses King Arthur and his noble knights of the Round Table. He not only translated Monmouth's work into French. Okay, you find it Monmouth, who from Monmouth uh, first wrote about King Arthur, but also adapted for okay La Morte di Arthur was actually in French for ninth century English audience. Twenty one stories in verse. The stories are about. king arthur's kingdom the round table the quest for the holy grail the magic sword the
the fall of Arthur's kingdom, the death of King Arthur to immortal wood. Arthur's request to have his mighty sword Excalibur returned to its place of origin with the Lady of the Lake. So when King Arthur will understand that I am going to die, I am old enough, so I have to give up, I have to retire. So then he told his most faithful follower and offered him his sword, the name of the sword, Excalibur, you have to remember it. The name of the sword is Excalibur, to throw it from where he get it, that it is the Lady of the Lake. Lady of the Lake was the source of that uh, mighty sword. And on that Lady of the Lake, his faithful follower will go and throw it, and there came a hand raised from the water and take it. Okay. And there is plethora of characters. I will not talk about them. You must read it from here. Various characters. I just highlighted in red some of the major characters like King Arthur, Queen Guinevere, uh, Launcelot, Tristram, and here we find South Gawain and Marlene, very important character. He is a magician. Marlene is the magician. So in this way, I just Pelionor, he is a bold knight who was in pursuit of coasting beast. So you, I just give you some red mark for the major characters. Sorry, there is, it is two times, sorry. King Palace is just mentioned two times. You just cut it down, remove it. So in from this plethora of characters, you just look at some characters, those who are in red mark and other characters you must look at. And here is the, what is the importance of the book. The book captures the imagination and national pride of the English people. It marks the birth of British fiction. The variety of responses to La Mautidi Arthur suggests the strong appeal of the war to a variety of readers. Actually, Mautidi Arthur was the medieval, you can say uh, just medieval standpoint, mid, uh, medieval, what to say, a major attribute, attribution, a major contribution to medieval literature. Thomas Mallory's Mautidi Arthur was a major contribution in medieval literature. Before uh, Mallory's Mautidi Arthur, there was no such organized literary piece. It was just like a towering, as the, just like a towering literary piece, as the single greatest prospect of Arthurian legend in English. Later from this, various English authors and writers take their influence. Mautidi Arthur is a poem by Lord Tennyson. And even after that, in drama, in novel, this Arthur legend, its allusion, its reference was used time to time. So you can understand how much important was it for the growth of medieval literature, medieval language, and as well as for the forthcoming years and the later writers. Monty Arthur's this Arthur legend was just a great source. Mallory's masterpiece, La Morte de Arthur, is esteemed on several counts. It is a mirror of medieval culture. Okay, in that point, it is just, it reflects the medieval culture, medieval manners, and the medieval idealism of chivalry, courageousness. And La Morte de Arthur remains an enigma because scholars are at odds about authorship, source material. Still, there is going on um, discussion about the hypothesis is going on regarding the Lord Mottidi Arthur's authorship and its original date of publication or when it was printed, when it was written. La, La Mottidi Arthur is not at all a finished chapter. The case is going on. The case is not at all closed. So whatever puzzles present, however, La Mottidi Arthur is an acknowledged literary milestone. And in the word of critic William Henry Scofield, we can say it is the fountainhead of Arthurian fiction. The seed of fiction that we found that in later half of 18th century, the fiction will come into its original shape, but the seed of fiction was sowed by Mallory's this Mottidi Arthur. So in this respect, La Mottidi Arthur has several influence and several significance from the standpoint of medieval literature. It was a towering literary piece significant remarkable adding to medieval literature, medieval prose writing, fiction, you can later writers take various influence and affluence from it. Okay? If you have any question, you must inform me. Thank you.